So, Russ, we don't really talk a whole lot on our channel about the real estate stats, but you and I, we are real estate agents. We are, and that's saying the is really important. If somebody is, is going to be living in Racine, they should know the value of their home. Yes, indeed. And if they're going to, and if they don't own a home here, if they want to buy a home, they should know all the stats and everything. They should so, know what the what's happening in the market. They should know what's happening in the market. But what we found is that our when we were doing this on a monthly basis, didn't work all that well. No, no. So we a it was decided, really boring. Yeah, it well, <laughs> boring for us. So boring. So well, it's not they're, they're boring. They're important, but boring. Yeah, like I'm a geek and I love stats. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to spend all day on stats. No. Nor do I want to spend an entire 20 minutes every month just looking at... I mean, even me, I don't want to spend 20 minutes listening to somebody else ramble about stats. That's right. So that's why we've decided to change things up. We're yep. going to do them quarterly now. Yep, exactly. So you'll only get four a year. Yep, exactly. And we'll probably have a big end of year one as well. You'll get yeah. each quarter, and then we'll still do our big... like year in End review year. as an extra yeah. bonus in january so today however we are on quarter two and we're comparing quarter one to quarter two right yeah okay so let's start with what what should we start with first maybe because you know a lot of times people are like well we're waiting for the spring market and that's what we're really talking about quarter two is the spring market it is that april is. may june yeah. it's when the vast majority of houses in our area get listed in the year and people are getting their tax returns so they're thinking about you yep. know let's buy a house or yeah people are getting their tax returns in february and march and then they're usually buying in april may june and th that's not the only people because there's lots of people that move at other times of the year and it's just Indeed. as important yes. but what i found to be a little bit shocking was how i found it a little bit shocking how low our market actually is for this quarter like quarter one is normally like really low right uh-huh and that's like that's normal january february march a lot of people aren't out looking at houses in january no too cold and just in, getting over christmas paying off their credit card bills yep all of that people are not so, out looking. so there were 133 sales in the first quarter yeah which is kind of it's not normal it's actually still below what we normally have so some of those would have been you know throwbacks from december where they may have where they closed in they closed, closed in january in january right um but these are the ones that actually sold in january february march and there were 133 of them that's about half of what we would normally have yeah. so where our inventory is still really low and we still really have half but what we didn't see is even though you've got a thumbs up on the racine stats for this section because it went up from 133 to 175. However, normally the spring market doubles yeah, that's every other still, quarter. That's still low for the second quarter. Yeah. Although it is up, so it's heading in that direction, but it's... Uh, but it's unlikely it's going to stay up in, third, yeah. in quarter three. I yeah. mean, we just listed a property, but it's unlikely that, you know, there's going to be a lot of listings right now. That's just uh -huh. not typical in July because people are starting to think about getting their kids in school in August and things of that nature. Yeah. Now, obviously, it's not entirely the case and we do sell houses all year round. But what we found is that, yeah, 133 to 175 sales is that's really low. That's yeah. like so that means out of all the realtors. Yeah. In Racine. And there's a yeah. lot of them. Yeah. We only sold 175 houses in Racine. Yeah. And that's when you consider that that means there are over 100 realtors. There's probably close to 150 realtors in this market. Uh, probably more because there's a lot of new companies that have. Yeah, but I would say there's at least 150 realtors who work yeah. in the Racine market. That means in the quarter, each of us got one sale. Yeah. Maybe 1.1 1 .1 of a sale. Uh -huh. like, so there are a few people who got two sales. But with 150 agents and 175 sales... I expect there's some that didn't get any. Yeah, oh, there's there's obviously agents who didn't yeah. get any. And there's others like us who had two. Mm -hmm. We had two in the in that quarter. But two sales in a quarter is really low. That's, yeah. That's really, really low. Really low. Which is what's going to happen this year is we're going to see a lot of agents getting out of the industry come this... I think so, yeah. Well, come December. Because 
this year we have a couple of things that happen. First of all, the market's been really terrible and people who haven't been in the business for a long time and don't and maybe, you know, didn't really know what they were getting into. Um, they have to renew their licenses. So they're going to be making a big decision this fall. Do I want to spend the money to renew my license and do the yeah. continuing ed necessary when I'm not making money, mm -hmm. which a lot of them are not making money? Yeah. So, um, so if we look at that, the 175, wow, knowing that we had two sales in that quarter and other people probably had none in order for that to be 175. So that's a lot. Um, yeah. So I mean, anyway. New listings are up as well. Yep. New listings are up from 157 to 229. But again, that should be almost double that. That should be more like 350 to 400 yeah, is what definitely. we would expect from a second quarter new listings. Uh -huh. So 229 is up, but it's just not up enough. However, because of that, our average list price is up a bit. Yeah. So the average uh, list price went up from 217 to 259. So that's the list price, not the sale price. Yep. And the problem is the sale to list price, even though it statistically went up, what that tells me is that agents when they're lowering the price on their properties, because we're seeing a lot of properties that are staying on the market longer. Yeah. And so the average days on market, though, did drop from 28 to 15, which is actually a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Because we need to have X amount of houses on the market. And so yeah. for the average to drop in half almost is terrible, which is, I mean, it brought our absorption rate down a little bit as well. Um, yeah, so the absorption rate is how long properties stay on the market, yep. how many properties there are on the market per month, and we were down. With under one. Where is well, like we were under one three. anyway, but we yeah. went down and we need to be yeah. going up. Yeah. Like the absorption rate, we need to be going up on the absorption rate. Um, so yeah, so that's not good. So even though sale to list is up, now here's the problem is that sale to list is one of those weird metrics because people are not necessarily getting 101% of their pricing anymore. No. Um, and that's something that these this these stats that we pulled didn't really demonstrate because what's happening is agents are lowering the prices on their properties and then they're selling and people are lowering lowering them a little bit and those prices that uh, those houses that were listed were actually listed a little bit lower even though our overall went up like our average sale yep. price our average list price went up the thing you have to keep in mind is that there are certain types of properties that only list in the spring they never list and those are the more expensive ones the more expensive properties only list in the spring they really the only reason they list in the fall is if somebody is being forced to move for a job and we don't see a lot of that right now. No. Um, and so the higher priced homes, the homes that are in really good shape and the homes that are, you know, really updated and are going to command the highest prices, they get listed in the spring. So we can we always expect that our sale, our list prices are going to go up in quarter two. Correct. Um, and they did. But the average sold price... Not considerably. No, though. the average sold... Think in, keep in mind, if the average list price was 259 but our average sold price was 221 so that tells you right yeah. there that the sale to list price is not 101%. That is the sale to list price when it gets sold, not the sale to list price when it goes when it goes on the market. No. Not the list price for the going on the it's market. It's the final list price, which it's that is final. if there's been any reductions. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And of course, there are certain homes that will go for higher versus lower. Now, let's just take a little bit of a look at Mount Pleasant. And Caledonia, we'll just touch on them for just a minute because uh -huh. we've got time today. Um, so, again, the sales were up, but only by 10 in Mount Pleasant. Yeah. That's nothing. Um, the new listings did go up significantly, but still, again, we should have 200 new listings per quarter in Mount Pleasant, and we only had 88. So that's still not up high enough. Yeah. Uh, the average list price was actually down. So, but... Negligible difference. Negligible, yes. Yeah, Still four sixty one. Four sixty one nine sixty. I went down literally two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. That yeah. was it. That's not even that much. The average sold price, however, was up a little bit. But if you look at the sold to the list price, this is actually not because if the average yeah. list price is four sixty one and the average sold price is three seventy two, what you're seeing is you're actually seeing a downturn in the market a little bit. Mm -hmm. So buyers this is a good That's opportunity. Like 90k. 
that is like 90k and Mount Pleasant has been doing that recently where their average list price is 460 or you know is like almost 100 above what they actually sell for yeah um and but their average days on market as well dropped in half just like in Racine so definitely something to pay attention to their absorption rate pretty much stayed very steady it went from 1.4 to 1.35 that's actually good um we it like does that mean they've got over a month's worth of inventory there yeah which is uh, great so mount pleasant is, is a market to be looking in if yeah. you're wanting to buy for sure and uh -huh. a quick look at caledonia caledonia the sales were not up enough they went from 69 to 73 that's nothing that's like a negligible difference the new listings also only up to 96 from 70 again yeah. that's nothing for caledonia no. and keep in mind caledonia is not just the out west it's also up north um like crestview and stuff like that uh -huh. areas of that nature so um the average list price was up a little bit 450 however the average sale price while it was up it was 350 so they're yeah. off by a hundred thousand as well when you think they've had some new builds up in that area yeah so and that might be where some of that sale to list is is coming in. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but they're off by a hundred. Their sale yeah. prices are a hundred thousand off of what their list prices are, which is incredible. Um, and if the absorption rate for them again, the negligible difference, one point three six to one point two nine, still at one and a third basically. Yeah. So we're good there. The average days on market again dropped, not quite in half in Caledonia, but a lot. But Caledonia is holding some. That's why their absorption rate is 1.3 because it, it was 29 days on market for the average house in Caledonia. Yeah. That's, and that's the same know. for Sturtevant as well. Sturtevant's kind of trending like Caledonia right now for some reason and like Mount Pleasant. So, you know, but other than the absorption rates, everything else seems to be heading in the right direction. Yeah, it's heading in the right direction, just not as the only high thing I would or say, as quick as we would like. Well, the thing is, I think what we need to do is we need to be talking about maybe list prices are coming down. Yeah. Not The market is not crashing, but people are still in that idea of, oh, it's 2022 and I can list my house for whatever price I want and it's going to get snapped up. And that's not what these stats show. No. And, and a lot of people would say, well, there's a lot of buyers out there, which there are because the inventory is so low. But the buyers are being wary. Yeah. Whether it's because it's an election year or whether it's because, you know, the market's unsettled, they're not actually and whether it has anything to do with the nar decision and they and people knowing that things are going to change yeah as far as buyer agency and buyers and things like that people know the thing is people don't always know what's changing mm -hmm. but they do know that something's supposed to change and just to let everybody know it is actually august 15th is when in wisconsin that mandatory change takes place yes. now russ and myself have already made that change so if you want to know more about that drop us a line drop a comment you know shoot us an email mm -hmm. And um, you can send that to Kimberly at TAMTHomes.com. But um, or you can make a comment on on this video. Yeah. And let us know what you're thinking. And um, we'll be sure to respond. Yeah, we'll be sure to respond. We can actually do a shorts response as well. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, sale prices are still high. List prices are still high, but sale prices are they're not dropping below what they were, but they are holding steady. So yeah. that's the good thing. It's just that people are being unreasonable on their list price. I think so. I think they're, they're thinking, well, there's a lot of buyers, so I can ask more money for my house. Yeah. And they're being unreasonable because yeah. buyers are not jumping in like they were. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I mean, the listings that we have right now, I don't think the sellers are unreasonable. Um, but, you know, the market is telling us, yeah. hey. This needs to be lower. We've already had to do, we have had to do a price reduction for one of our listings. We have. So yes. that's the first time I've done a price reduction in four years. Did you know that? Well, yeah, because normally we've sold them within a week. Yeah, within a week or two. I've not had to do a price reduction in almost four years on and any of my listings. it's a great house as well. Yeah, might be getting an offer tomorrow. But, oh, the, nice. um, but the reality is, yeah. The sale list prices have been uh, are up higher than they should be in all of these. Both we're seeing Caledonia, Mount Pleasant. If you want to know the specifics for Sturtevant, Elmwood Park, um, Windpoint, any of those, yeah. just reach out to us. Let us know, and we'll be and happy I to help you. And I can run the numbers for you. So absolutely, yeah. But I think that's pretty much all we have for that today. We do. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this. Hopefully you get something out of it. And join us again next week. We're going to be talking about plumbing in homes. Oh yeah. Uh huh. And what you should be looking for 
and what you should be avoiding. We'll talk <laughs> to you then. Bye for now. Bye.